today we are making Mongolian lamb. It's a new recipe and we're gonna be making it right now. Again, today we have Chef Bidanto, who will be going through step-by-step -step our ingredients and procedure what we're going to make today. Alright, welcome back. Uh, we're here at the new set and we're just going to go through the ingredients. Let's have a look. For the marination we need lamb. We need spices, rosemary leaves, black pepper, salt, all spice mix and mixed herbs. Sauces we need oil, soy sauce, and caramel water. For the stir fryer we need ginger garlic paste, onion, and fresh garlic. For the marination we need bicarb soda. And lastly for the marination again we need corn flour. Now cut open your uh, lamb and then put it into a bowl. I'm gonna start straight away our marinating process as we are on a clock. Grab your corn flour and put two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of corn flour. Grab your bicarb soda. Grab your carrot water, soy sauce. Four tablespoons of soy sauce, and that's basically it for the marinade. Stir it all up just with your hands, and that's your marinade right there. All right, next we are going to get some corn flour. We're going to be making the sauce. So three tablespoons of corn flour, more soy sauce, three tablespoons of soy sauce, kara water, two tablespoons, all spice mix, one tablespoon or teaspoon, sunflower seeds, two tablespoons some water about 100 mils of water that's your sauce just mix that up and uh, that's going to be a sauce it's going to turn into a different color soon take some time to all uh, mix together now grab your onion and you're going to be finely chopping them into julian style forms or squares it's really up to you some mongolian lamb dishes uh, have it in some julienne style, I've, I've seen uh, some in square, it's really uh, how you prefer. One to two onions, um, now it depends on the size of your onion, so uh, we'll see. Alright, uh, put some oil in your frying pan, and you're just going to put, you're going to mix that and wait for it to simmer, so you see some Lines and you're gonna put your onions on. Let's stir that up. I'm gonna put some ginger garlic paste, one tablespoon. Now that may sizzle, but uh, it won't. Now put your meat in once it turns a bit golden brown, your onions, and just stir that up. Looking good. Next, we're going to add our sauce in, and really, we're almost done. You can add some black pepper in the sauce if you'd like, and you're going to cover it and leave that to sizzle for like 15 minutes. Now, depend on how high your flame is, you can add some black pepper, use some salt, or herb mix, it's totally up to you. But this is almost done now, and thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next.